It's time for a story, it's time for a tale. Let's begin an adventure in bright, colorful detail. We'll tell great wolf stories and make you feel all right. Sit back, relax, get comfy for story time tonight. Welcome to story time. We're so glad you're here. Today, we'll be reading, Isn't Nature Great? It was a beautiful morning in the North Woods. The pack gathered in front of Great Wolf Lodge as they usually do. Everyone was excited to see each other and find out what the day had in store. Wiley suddenly got an idea. Hey, do you know what would be great to do on a beautiful morning like this? An adventure, said Brindley. That's right, is everybody ready? The pack cheered in excitement, set their course, and began walking down the winding trail behind the lodge. After hiking for a while, the pack found themselves in front of a tall tree. Wiley looked up and started getting ideas. This is one huge tree, maybe even the largest one in the forest. Let's build a ladder and climb it. Everyone stood back and watched in excitement to see if Wiley's idea would work. Except Sammy. Sammy had spotted a red-bellied woodpecker. This woodpecker was the only bird in the forest she hadn't photographed yet. At the ladder, Wiley said to the group, follow me. Violet, Oliver, Rachel, and Brinley made their way up. Look at all those trees, said Violet. Isn't nature great, Brindley chimed in. Sammy, Wiley said, are you coming up? I'll be right there, Wiley, Sammy said. I'm going to make this woodpecker a star, she whispered to herself. All she needed to do was get a tiny bit closer. Whoa, oops, no! <laughs> the great wolf kids gasped in shock. We have to get down and help Sammy, Wiley said. There was no time to waste. Sammy, are you okay? Violet asked in her calm voice. Out of the darkness, Sammy's scared voice spoke back. Well, if you don't mind complete darkness and weird squishy sounds, I'm totally fine. But a little help getting out of here would be nice. Hold on, Sammy. We'll get you out of there, Wiley said. Brinley pulled some walnuts out of his backpack. He passed them to Wiley, who threw them down the hole. Good call, Brindley. Here are some walnuts if you're hungry, Sammy. Incoming! Oliver had a great idea. I got you covered, Sammy. Moochie, my robotic beetle, can help. He's equipped with state-of-the-art OLEDs. See? She flew up and dove into the hole. Thanks, Oliver. Now I can see these walnuts and a lot of worms. Yuck, so many worms. Yeah. Sammy forgot about the walnuts and started to worry again. Violet said, don't worry, Sammy. My grandma always tells me whenever I get scared, just say this poem and it will light up your heart. Repeat this little poem. Quietly at first, repeat this little poem just before you burst. Repeat this little poem and your problems won't be so big. Repeat this little poem to find your courage within. 
Sammy, can you repeat it with me now? Violet said softly. A week, okay, came from the hole. Sammy and Violet began. Repeat this little poem, quietly at first. Repeat this little poem, just before you burst. The great wolf kids all joined in. Together they danced and cheered while they repeated the poem. Repeat this little poem and your problems won't be so big. Repeat this little poem to find your courage within. You guys are awesome, said Sammy's voice from behind the pack. Surprised, the great wolf kids turned and saw Sammy hop over the stream. The pack ran over to give Sammy the biggest hug they could. How did you get out of that hole? Wiley asked. Simple, I had a little help. Remember those worms? I had them dig a tunnel for me and I climbed out. You know, worms are pretty cool once you get to know them. Just like Brinley said, isn't nature great? The end. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We told a story, we told a tale. We took a fun adventure in bright colorful detail. We told a story in the Great Wolf way. We hope you've had a good time at Great Wolf Lodge today.